Welcome to Local Business Spotlight, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Bruce Dodd from People's Home Equity. Welcome to the show, buddy. It's always happy, good to be happy here. Happy New Year. Uh, you too. I hope your holidays were great. They, they were. And all a little went well. warm. A little warm. It was a little warm. <laughs> it was weird on New Year's to be sitting on my front porch at 10 o'clock at night. I could imagine. Shorts. I could imagine. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about what we're expecting for the year 2022. Last year was a seller's market, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be like that again? Do you, there's conversations that the market's booming still. When sure. is it ever going to burst? Sure. And is it really going to burst? I don't know that it's really going to burst. I think things were pretty nutty in 2021. You had some houses had 25 offers, 30 offers. Uh, I don't know that you're going to see quite that intense cauldron of competition, mm. but now we're seeing four or five offers. And so I think it's still going to be heavily weighted towards the sellers, but I don't think it's going to be quite the, the nuttiness we had last year. Are people paying 20 30% more than what the list price is? No. Or those, no. that's not really there? Don't in, Chattanooga, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, you don't see that that much. You see homes that do go over the market. Um, you see some that do that. However, that's not the norm. Most things are pretty close. They're selling for what they're asking for. Okay. So th that's good. Be realistic with your pricing, right? Sure. What are some of the challenges that you may see coming forward for 2022? Well, I think you're going to see you're going to continue to see a competitive market. Um, I think while nobody knows the exact direction of interest rates, I think interest rates will certainly be higher this year. So I think that'll be a challenge. I think it's going to continue to have a lot of the same challenges we had last year. Higher because of inflation. Well, I think inflation is certainly driving that. The other thing is government took some specific actions to push down interest rates that they're going to begin tapering out of that. They're going to start unraveling that. What they did for a long time was buy mortgage-backed securities, which is the source of all mortgage dollars. Right. They've announced they're going to stop that. I want to ask you a question. Why is it when you buy, when you get a mortgage from a particular company or bank, and then maybe two months later you get a, an email from Penny Mac saying we bought out your mortgage, mm -hmm. you're now mortgaged with us? Why does that happen? Well, a couple of reasons. One is everyone who originates mortgages doesn't even have the ability to service. We're a Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac seller servicer, so we service most of what we originate. The vast, vast, vast majority. Some lenders don't service at all. Right. Uh, servicing has a value. So there is a price the agencies pay mortgage servicers to service that mortgage, take payments, make escrow payments, keep all the records. You get paid for that. So that servicing has a value. So it, sometimes lenders determine that servicing has more value on the open market than it does for them. Interesting. Holder. Interesting. How do I know it's the right mortgage for me? Well, realistically, think, because yeah. there's so many. Well, there are. However, most people fall into, there's lots and lots and lots of programs out there. But for most people who are regular old W-2 borrower, not a lot really uh, complex about their situation, you're going to have le low, less choices. So I think the important thing is to Work with, work with your lender, ask them to provide you several different options. Look at some different things from whether it's a 30 year, a 20 year, a 15 year. I'm doing a 10 year mortgage today. Dang. So, so there's some people who do you know, buy a home with a 10 year mortgage. If someone's in their 50s, okay, and they are looking at a 30 year mortgage, is that something that's sensible? Sure, it can be. It can be because it depends on what's important to you. For some people, paying the house off is not that important. Right. Some of us are just wanting to lower their monthly costs. I understand. We appreciate you. Always oh, great information. It's always good. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. I've been chatting with Bruce Dodd from People's Home Equity.